Algebra 2 students, we are going to wrap up our quarter um, with learning about linear programming. This puts together a lot of skills you already have. Um, there are a number of steps to a linear programming problem, um, but they are all things that you already know how to do. So let's start with a little bit of vocabulary. First of all, well, what is linear programming? It's the method of finding a maximum or minimum value of a function that satisfies a set of conditions. What is a constraint? A constraint is one of the inequalities. So whenever you heard, hear the word constraint, think inequality. Last word, what is the feasible region? The feasible region is the solution to the set of constraints. The feasible region is the solution region. Same thing we learned about last week where we have a solution region where um, the shaded regions are overlapping. We could call that a feasible region um, and that's what we call it when we're working with a linear programming problem. So let's do some review and apply this vocabulary to it. It says graph each constraint Instead of shading the solution region, mark an X in the area you would shade. So we practiced doing that last week. So let's graph each of these. Um, y is greater than or equal to 1. So a line that starts with Y equals is a horizontal line. Or I'm sorry, 0. And I would shade above that line. Next one, X is greater than or equal to 2. So an X line is a vertical line. Greater than two would be to the right. X is less than or equal to four. Draw a line on the four. Less than would be on this side. And X plus Y is less than or equal to five. I can change this to slope intercept form or I can use cover up and see that my intercepts are five. My X intercept is five and my Y intercept is five. So I'm going to plot those two points, draw my line, and it's less than, so I shade below, okay? So the question is, are all the X's in the same region? Yes, all of the X's are in this region right here. Um, it says to shade the region. And then it asks, what is the shape? Well, I have two sets, or I'm sorry, I have one set of parallel sides, these vertical lines. So it would be a trapezoid shape. And we would call this the feasible region, okay? I'm going to go ahead and have you pause the video here in a moment. And what I'd like you to do is work through this part of the notes. You're going to match each set of constraints with the correct graph and shade the feasible region. And then for number nine, you are going to graph and find the feasible region. So go ahead, work on that and pause the video and come back and check your answers.